Prince Harry once playfully slapped Foo Fighter Taylor Hawkins to prepare the drummer for a concert, unearthed accounts show. Mr. Hawkins died on Friday aged 50 in Bogota, with the Foo Fighters having been due to play a music festival in the Colombian capital. The legendary drummer's cause of death is unknown though Colombian investigators say that a toxicology report showed traces of 10 substances in Mr. Hawkins' body, including opioids and marijuana. The investigators did not specify whether the mix of drugs was a factor in the Foo Fighters' death. Mr. Hawkins' passing was announced by the Foo Fighters in a statement, in which the band said they were devastated by the loss and asked for his family to be given privacy. The drummer joined the band in 1997 and has writing credits on a number of the Foo Fighters' most loved songs. Their international success led Mr. Hawkins to rub shoulders with a number of A-listers and at times even royalty. While performing at a private concert in London, the band crossed paths with Harry. During the encounter the prince hilariously slapped Mr. Hawkins across the face to help battle the drummer's jet lag, prompting the musician to playfully deliver a foul-mouthed retort at the royal. Speaking on the Howard Stern show in 2014 Foo Fighters lead singer Dave Grohl said, We have hung out with, Harry, before. He smacked Taylor in the face one time. How hard was that smack in the face? Mr. Hawkins joked, It f me off actually. The drummer went on to explain, we were playing somewhere in England and we had just flown over and I literally had two hours sleep. We were doing a show in some ambassador's backyard or something, and, Harry, walked in and he had a bunch of his people around him. And he goes how are you doing? And I'm like I can't wake up. I'm so tired, but, I've got to play. And he goes bam. Mr. Hawkins gestured that the Duke of Sussex slapped him across the face. The slap prompted a hilarious foul-mouthed reaction from the musician. Mr. Hawkins recalled, I went, you mother effer. And he went, are you awake now? And I'm like yeah. Mr. Hawkins added, I mean I got slapped in the face by the prince. That's okay if you think about it. But in the moment I was like he effing slapped me. Once upon a time, there was a prince who loved to party and date models. Then, an American came in and completely changed his ways. If that seems too good to be true, think again. That is the story of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The now Duke and Duchess of Sussex have come a long way since they met in 2016, and it turns out that there was a significant turning point in Prince Harry's life and relationship that made it all seem very real. There was even a point where he thought he would lose Meghan altogether. Back in 2016, Prince Harry made a public plea for European newspapers to stop the racial undertones that were being used to describe his then-girlfriend Meghan Markle and for editors to pause and reflect before any further damage is done. A royal making a public statement is a pretty good indicator that he's upset, but a source said that he was much more upset than that. He was freaking out, saying, she's going to dump me, a close source to Prince Harry said, according to Express UK. Breaking up with a royal because the entire British media is bashing your skin color? Breakups have happened over less. While we all know that the story ended up well for Prince Harry and Meghan, that wasn't the last time the two would battle the media together.